Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to service the brakes on your ride on mower. So this is typically for manual gearboxes and you'll see on the side of the gearbox here there is the whole brake assembly. So first of all you need to slacken and remove all three locking nuts or it may well be bolts in your case, some gearboxes have bolts, some have nuts. So slacken these off and then you'll be able to remove the first part of the brake assembly. So now you can remove the brake lever and the washer which is on that and they should just pull off. And that can be cleaned with a wire brush and you can paint it if you wish. This is the brake caliper, it can sometimes be stiff to get off but usually if you've got bolts then it will come off easily when you remove the bolts. This is only because I've got nuts on this one. And you'll see there is a brake pad in there along with the metal plate which the two metal studs actually push against when you put your foot on the brake pedal. Next we have the brake disc and this is usually very easy to remove. It's just on the spline there and it should just pull off. And if that's been greased properly it shouldn't be rusty. If it is rusty and hard to get off then you need to clean up that spline and then put some grease on it. So now we've got it all off, we can clean the gearbox around where it all gets trapped behind the brake assembly. You can use a scribe, you can use a wire brush, you can use whatever you want really, just to get all that dirt out of there. You can now see the brake assembly, we've disassembled it all, we've got the brake pads, we've got the lever, and we've got the main caliper with the two studs in. One of the studs is actually stuck due to the rust of it not being used over a long period of time. So the brake pads need to be cleaned and inspected for any cracks. If the brake pads are damaged in any way, or if they've got fractures and hairline cracks on them, you will need to replace them. If they're too worn, they'll have to be replaced because they won't really do anything. It'll be completely pointless having those brake pads in. They're not too expensive and you can still get these parts. So this one's okay and I'm just cleaning it off, getting the majority of that grease and dirt off along with the metal plate which the two studs push against. Now I like to wire brush these because rust builds up and if you don't clean this rust off then it will just build up again when you put it back together and then those studs will get stuck again and then your brakes will not work. So just a small wire brush I'm using here to get that dirt off. So this is the caliper with the two studs in. I'm just going to clear this out because I need to get that stuck stud removed. The first stud was a bit stiff but it still came out okay, the other one is completely stuck. So I'm just going to put some penetrating oil in there and let that soak in for a few minutes. And this should free the stud which is stuck and then I should be able to just push that through with, with a punch. And you can see the amount of dirt and grime which is on there and that should actually be spotless. You need to clean that up and you need to make sure it's shiny again, get rid of all the rust, get rid of all the horrible abrasive dirty grease. You can see now, I've just wiped that, it's got some rust on it so I'm going to give it a quick wire brush and this should stop it from getting stuck in the caliper again. So now that the studs are clean, you now need to clean inside the caliper and this includes inside the holes where the studs sit um, because obviously the rust will build up in there as well and that may well stop those studs from moving freely. So again just with a scribe, I'm digging out all of that rust and all the old grease. And now that's done, I now need to clean inside those two holes where the two studs sit. And the best way of doing this is just with a very small wire brush or a just a small cleaning tool and just push that in there and just clean it out and this removes all the rust and all the grease and all the dirt from inside there inside that bore and it should allow the studs to sit in there freely and they should move without any problem so if you drop them through if it falls straight through without getting stuck 
then it's clean enough and you can see that both of these are so they're clean next the metal plate which the studs sit against I just put a little bit of copper grease on there two reasons for this one is to prevent rust in the future and also when you're installing this again the copper grease keeps everything in place so it's not quite as fiddly when you're putting the assembly back together Now onto the brake disc, just make sure that's clean and free of any grease and oil. You don't want anything slippery on there because otherwise the brakes won't work very well, It'd be very ineffective. And basically, well this one isn't too bad, so basically just make sure it's clean without any dirt. Right, now we can start rebuilding the assembly again. First of all, you need to put the first brake pad in, and that just slots into the groove there. You can see I've cleaned it up nicely. And then the brake disc itself can go on. Like I said before, make sure that spline is clean and free of any rust. Now we can build the caliper up. We've already put the metal plate in. The second brake pad can then slot in, and carefully, you can put that back on. and then push that on sometimes like I say at the beginning it can be quite hard to get this back on and off just because it's a bit stiff but once it's on put the locking nuts back on make sure you do this in the right order you need to put that plate on with the lever so the washer goes on and then finally you can put the two locking nuts on and in case you're wondering it might not be the same for your gearbox but the two socket sizes I've used here are 10 and 13 and this final locking nut you'll have to fine tune because sometimes you can overdo it and the brakes are too hard or you can underdo it and the brakes are too soft so you'll just have to play around with that until you've got it right and that's the gearbox back on the machine and ready to be used so I hope this video has given you a good idea on how to service your brakes on your lawnmower if it has please comment, rate, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video